All right, we are sitting here before the amazing composer behind the scenes of the Apple TV series, Monarch, Leo. Talk to me, how are you feeling today? Let's start there. I'm feeling very excited. This is a project that was a long, I mean, it was probably a whole year of work, you know, so it's really thrilling to see it coming to life and we're driving down here and seeing the posters and um, seeing all the people lined up outside. It's really exciting to see it kind of come to fruition. So listen, Leo, invite me into your mind frame. You are the composer behind this amazing series. Where did you draw up your inspiration? Let's start there. Well, it was kind of funny because I have worked with Chris Black, who's the executive producer before. So when I got the call to do the show, I just said yes immediately because I love Chris and I really wanted to work with him again. And I didn't even really take on board what the show was about. Really? <laughs> I was just like, yeah, I'll do it. Chris Black, I'll do it. So then um, they sent me a little bit of footage and the first thing that they sent me was the main, the female lead, Kate, arriving in Tokyo, which is in episode one. So I'm watching the footage and she arrived, the plane lands and like she's walking through the airport and then these like flashbacks come in and it's Godzilla on screen and I'm like, oh my God, like my jaw was just on the ground. Like, like what did I just get myself into, I'm right? Like, I'm like, I don't know if we can swear, but I'm like, <laughs> OMG, that's Godzilla. <laughs> wow. So I'm freaking out. But like that was the moment of just like, a wave of adrenaline and inspiration just hit me like this is such a crazy and exciting opportunity to be able to write music for like a genuine screen icon like everyone knows who Godzilla is you know what I mean so it was a that moment was like a kind of like yeah like I said a huge moment of inspiration and then I just like set off on a tear of just writing music from there. Yeah, yeah. Talk to me, Leo, about working cross-functionally with teams, you know, production, directors, writers, editors, cinematographers, so on and so forth. Those times when you may or may not be on one accord, right? Yeah. How do you guys find a healthy balance, like, and pivot back around to getting on one page when it comes to compose and score? Um, it's a good question. I mean, I think there's a lot of um, push and pull, but I think there's normally one person, in this case, Chris Black, the showrunner, who's sort of steering the ship in a particular direction. So um, I think he's the type of guy who hires people because he thinks they're excellent at their job. So like he'll kind of defer the music to me uh, because he's hired me to do the music. So um, in that sense, like he sort of, I don't know what I'm trying to say, like he kind of leaves everybody to do their jobs the best they can. And then amongst ourselves, there's a little bit of kind of like bobbing and weaving, particularly in a show like Monarch because it's so bombastic from a sound point of view. There's so much sound coming from the sound effects department, especially when the titans are on screen. There's a lot of, like, it's loud. Yeah. So I think there's a lot of kind of dancing that has to happen between all the departments. Like, okay, I'll let the sound hit Golden Gate Bridge coming down. <laughs> and then I'll do my little melody afterwards. <laughs> You know, so yeah. I guess it's sort of like all working together to find a whatever's best for the whole, you know. Team, everyone. I feel like I always have to ask, out of all of the episodes, did you have an absolute favorite episode that you enjoyed working on? Of course you enjoy working on the entire series, right? Let's be clear. Yeah. But what is the absolute favorite episode for you? Um, I think probably episode six because it's really has this gigantic epic scale to it uh, in terms of like we're going across dual timelines, we're going into completely different areas of the globe. There's just so much spectacle to it yeah. that um, 
six stands out to me as just a super fun and uh, exciting ride. Listen, fingers crossed, episode six ends up being an award contender at some point. Before I let you go, take me back to your childhood. Godzilla or King Kong, which were you most afraid of? You have to choose one. Godzilla, obviously. (laughs) (laughs) And we are going to close it out there. Leo, it was such a pleasure chatting with you today. Thank you so much. You did such an amazing job. Look forward to seeing so much more of you. Perfect. Thank you.